marches on three. One, two, three, marches. <laughs> Just going on to sort of like your career now of, as a player and as a coach, how do you see yourself at, at the moment in terms of your personal goals of trying to really embed the players and believe into the culture of the Archers Club and as yourself really, you know, being that leader as, of a, as a pivotal figure, if you like, um, amongst the, you know, the younger teams as well. Where do you see yourself fitting in all of that really? It's an interesting question. I, I, I suppose I am in that position sort of by default, but I, I still feel like I'm just part of the team really. Um, and yeah, I might help steer things a little bit more than maybe other guys do. But yeah, I think for me, it's, it's more just, I guess, lead by example, to sort of do what I've always done, you know, work hard, turn up to everything, try and be unselfish, play team basketball, and, and hopefully that kind of echoes around. Um, yeah, try to have positive conversations with people as much as possible. And yeah, I, I guess it's more of a lead by example type thing. I try not to overthink that too much. Um, yeah, I hope it's working out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I respect. That. I, mean, I think you you always want to develop people and, and, and create leaders and, and make people think, right? Like I, it, I don't. My ideal situation is that if I don't show up, they'll still be fine. So, getting them to think constantly about you know the tactical decisions or how the group is or who needs a conversation or you know how we're playing, what can we adjust? Those kind of things I, th I think are really important. At the same time, you do need to let people kind of be who they are. So you can't just pick, oh, I want this guy and this guy to be our leaders. Like it, it, you have to let it evolve naturally and, and just kind of help out where you can. I think it's, it's going pretty well. It, it's been really interesting for me, like I said, because we've had that missed year. And when I started coaching the Bucks first team a few years ago, probably yeah, four years ago maybe now, we sort of had a, a big influx of players at the same time as I, as I started coaching. And we had that group through about three years and didn't change too much. So it's been really interesting this year to have quite a few new faces from last year and the year before kind of forming this new group, um, which has obviously come with its own challenges. But looking forward, I think we've got some great characters, some great talent over the next couple of years as they come through second, third years. Like, I think there'll be some exciting basketball to be seen. So yeah, how far can we go? The sky's the limit, really. You, you need to yeah, keep recruiting people. You need to up the talent level. You know, We need to be, be winning leagues rather than just trying to sustain ourselves in strong leagues. Uh, we need to make sure that we're developing our coaches as best as possible and, and retaining those coaches. Um, you don't want to develop them too much so they go off and get a better job. You know? <laughs> um, but I feel like it's, it's going in the right direction and hopefully it's a snowball effect, right? Like we're, we're getting going now and we're bouncing back on COVID really well. Um, so yeah, We've got so many guys behind the scenes working hard that I, I'm sure it will keep, keep growing.